Now then, let's talk about MLW then. How did that all come about then? How did you get involved with MLW then? So I am from uh, like the Tampa Bay area, but I wrestle in Orlando a lot. Oh, nice. And my nice. best friend and tag partner, Selena De Aranda, is from like right outside Orlando. Wow. And wow. we have wrestled a lot in the area, and we knew MSL, who is affiliated with um, – the school she trained at and also he is like the head of talent relations at MLW so I remember her bringing it up to me that MLW is starting up and it's going to be this big thing and honestly at first I was like okay it's another promotion that's like oh we have TV and we're going to be on this channel blah, blah, because I've heard that from so many places Yeah, like up and down Florida like oh we're going to have TV Aria you should come work for us and it's like they never it's it's never legit, and that's it's just so like it, often too good to be true. Okay, but good. this was legit. This was legit, and like I knew of MLW from before, so that helped. Yes, and that MSL was legit. I didn't really know of Court besides like watching like what culture videos when they would have like Court tell a story about like a wild Vinceism that happened. So it's like I remember hearing his name, but I didn't know him. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I heard that they were working together to start MLW back up. It was going to be in Orlando, which is two hours away, and I can stay at my best friend's whenever. Oh, that's and, good. Um, I, at first, got interested because I just I was just about to graduate college from University of South Florida <laughs> with my degree in mass comm, and I was kind of looking for experience on my, like, real-life career resume. Of course. So... I was like, hey, what if I like did social media? And uh, Selena brought that up to MSL, who brought that up to court, who brought me in. Yeah. But um, Major League Wrestling comes out internationally on YouTube. Um, and it is a episode executively produced by Your my best friend, my tag partner, <laughs> my sister from Puerto Rico, even though I'm not. Um, <laughs> yeah, Selena De Aranza. She's like, we always say that if I was Puerto Rican, I would be her. And if she was like pale, pale, white, she would be me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, of course, you mentioned, you know, the uh, the, the uh, executive producer of uh, MLW for this week's episode. Of course, when this ever comes out, it will be being gone. And again, I'm sure she'll be ho doing another uh, show where she produces it. But on the last time she produced the episode, I thought it was one of the, the worst episodes in history because we know why. We know why because she was having all her, you know, goons win all the matches. Okay, you, you might not like me, I do you, but but it's the truth. She had all the goons on the card and they all won, and and she even came out during one of the matches and helped them win. So I think it's a bit biased, you know. Uh, putting all the best, putting all her goons out there on her show. What's wrong with that? Why wouldn't you? Well, you, oh, you need, we need different people in there. You know, we, we, we want to see, you know, uh, unbiased. I'll, I'll give you a little thing to look forward to later. Go on. So, which mm -hmm. is the most recent episode, whatever, <laughs> is going to have Sammy Callahan versus Mance Warner. That's right. Neither, neither of them are in promociones de rato. True, they're not. Yeah, you're true, you're not. Yeah. So, uh, you can pipe down over there with your bias. <laughs> uh, well, 